Not everyone knows this, but yeah, Santorini is a volcano and it's active and you can visit it. But is it worth it? And what does it look like? Well, that's what we're answering in today's video. Hey guys, welcome to Santorini Explained. My name is Sebastian. I'm a tour guide here in Santorini. And today we're talking about Santorini's volcano. When we think of a volcano, we usually think of something like this. However, in Santorini, it looks more like that. A small and pretty flat island called Neakameni. Not as impressive, right? Well, that's because the visible part of the island is only the tip of the iceberg. Here's a cross section. This is what we can see above sea level. And this is what's going on below. See, there's much, much more happening under the surface. Now that you know this, let's see what it looks like when you're actually walking on the volcano. And as you can see, it's not that obvious you're on an active volcano. The only signs of activity you'll see are those fumaroles. But it's probably a good thing that those fumaroles are the only things you see. Because the next level would be a full-blown eruption with lava flows on the island you're standing on and burning hot ashes in the sky all around you. And the last time this happened was in 1950. No worries though, the volcano is being monitored, so we wouldn't know if an eruption was coming before sending all of you guys on it. Now, how do you get to this island? Well, by boat, obviously. The same boats that also take you to the hot springs. And if you want to know more about the hot springs, well, you can find it right here or at the end of this video. Now, be careful because not all boat tours let you go on the volcano. All the catamaran tours, for instance, will skip it. So if after watching this video you feel like you want to go to the volcano, make sure you book a volcano tour instead of a catamaran cruise. By the way, those volcano tours usually cost around 20 euros a person, plus the 5 euros you have to pay at the entrance of the island, because Neakameni is a protected natural reserve. So, now that you have a good understanding of what Santorini's volcano is all about, let's see if it's really worth going. One of the great things about the volcano is that it's not too crowded. Okay, we are still talking about Santorini, so don't expect to be the only person down there, but compared to the most crowded places of Santorini like Ia or Fira, it's not too bad in my opinion. Something you should be aware of before going is the heat. There is zero shade and this dark rocky soil absorbs all the sunlight and radiates it straight back at your face. That's why May and October are awesome months to go there. It's only 20 degrees in the air so the heat of the volcano doesn't really bother you. Anywhere between June and September I would advise you to go on a windy or at least breezy day. Of course that also means that the boat journey will be a bit choppier, but unless you're someone who gets seasick, I think it's a small price to pay. And one last thing to keep in mind is that the walk from the port of the volcano to the top of the island is steep and tiring. It only takes around 15 minutes to reach the top, so it's not huge, but especially with the heat, I have seen people struggle. All right, I believe you have all the cards in your hand now to determine whether or not it's an activity you will enjoy. I'm sorry to tell you that I do not do any tours on the volcano, but anywhere else in Santorini, I'm your guy. And if you want to know more about my tours, well, you can check out my Instagram page. I'm going to leave you now with those two videos. This one is the one I mentioned earlier about the hot springs. And this one, very different. It's about Pirgos, one of my favorite villages on Santorini. Totally underrated. You should check it out. All right, well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button and I will see you in the next one. Bye.